Defensive backs that can tackle stand out. If you can tackle properly as a DB, you give your coach another reason to play you and you'll be able to make a lot more plays when it's your time to shine. Everybody in this game knows that football is the ultimate team sport. This video is going to break down the best way to tackle while leveraging your biggest help, your teammates. The most important thing is to tackle the near hip of the ball carrier, the leverage hip of the ball carrier, whatever side you're on. So to make this very simple for all you football meetups out there, this means whatever side you're on of the ball carrier, you're tackling him from that side and coming down. So if you're a corner on the outside, tackle him outside in. And if you're a safety coming down making a play, you're gonna tackle him inside out. Now there are a few reasons why this is very important, not only for your own tackling, but for your whole defense. First off, think about where your help is. If you're on the outside, then there's probably a lot of people inside the rest of your defense coming to help you make the play, pursuing to the tackle. And if you're on the inside, there's probably someone out there on the outside that's gonna help you make the play. If you're a corner and you jump inside, maybe you get juked, then you're gonna cut off all the help from everyone inside. The linebacker coming, he won't be able to make a play now. And you know, that's not very good for the defense. If you don't tackle the near hip, then you're gonna cut off your defense and you're gonna make it worse for everyone. Now, it's important to note, if you're a bit further off and the guy in front of you, he gets to you know, make the first move, like say you're playing safety and a corner linebacker, he tackles the wrong side, he maybe gets to pick the side that's open. So if he's supposed to contain, but he jumped inside and got beat out, then you just gotta fill on the outside now. Now this principle, this concept applies a lot in football. Think about the D-line, for example. Oftentimes, if they go in the wrong gap, then all the linebacker has to do is shift to the open gap to make it right. It's the same thing here. This strategy for tackling is also very good because it lets you keep your momentum. You're gonna keep running fast until you know the very second to make the tackle, and you'll be able to make big, powerful tackles. If you tackle the near hip, then you're already in a great position when you're running to meet the guy for the collision. So you don't have to break down, you don't have to gear down, because oftentimes when you do that, that's when he has the opportunity to make some moves and juke. Aside from everything, it's just a lot easier to tackle like this. Even if you're a corner and you just got beat on the outside and you're supposed to contain, don't worry about running back to the outside, turning in to make the tackle. Just get him on the near hip and get him down. You have to trust in yourself to make the tackle and you have to trust in the secondary defender behind you. He's gonna come down and feel where you messed up before, as we already talked about. If you get beat outside, and then you get beat again inside, now he's just gonna make you look silly. You're gonna end up on the sports center top plays with your ankles broken. Make sure that the next opportunity you get to tackle someone, you follow these tips, and then make sure you also follow this channel and the DBU, Defensive Back University, blog and playlist because our very next post is gonna break down how exactly to make the open field tackles. No more getting juked, no more getting trucked, just big hits every time.